How often when you go into any kind of function or party do people start going, oh, I predict a riot? Is it the most annoying thing ever? Well, no, no, I'm, no it's fine. I Is mean, it? I'm very proud of what I've achieved. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really hate those celebrities that kind of, oh, God, don't... Because you're as famous as you want to be, and if you want to be, you know, I, I'm... If someone shouts Ruby at me, yeah. great. Yeah. So um, you um, love all that side of it, kind of the being spotted when you're out and about, no, people no, no. singing your songs. No, I, I don't like being spotted every day, but, but when I want to be, it's great. It means people love your work, doesn't it? Yes. The last time I think we chatted, it was when we knew The Voice was coming to ITV. Yep. But we didn't know who was going to be on The Voice. And I said to you something like, you know, would you do come? And you said, it depends how much they offer. Yeah. Did they not offer enough? Well, I, <laughs> I, I said that jokingly. Um, <laughs> uh, but it was kind of true, because I'd done it for three years and I did really mm. enjoyed it. It was the best time I've ever had. And I'd won it twice in a row. Yeah. Don't forget that, folks. <laughs> uh, but I thought, if I did it again, what was the reason for doing it? And the only reason would be money, really, and that's not a good reason to, to do it. Because you wanted to go and make music for a bit. Well, no, the thing is, I like doing everything. Because mm. you like doing the TV side of it as well. The TV's fantastic. Like, when the call time for, like, today is, I don't know, six in the morning, I'd, I'd be here earlier because I just really enjoy TV studios. I like being in them. It gives me a real buzz. So you might come back in the future, then? Is that what you're saying? Oh, God, if they, if they came knocking, I'd do it again. Because we know Gavin said he's not doing... Is he not doing it again? Apparently not. That's oh, right. oh that's Gav, right. oh. stick in there. First, first year you do it, you're never going to win. No stamina. No stamina, these <laughs> people. So would you come back? Of course I would. All right, brilliant. I'll have uh, someone get a no, check. No, hang on. Make no, I would, we'll never, I would never do it. <laughs> <laughs> it would You're now happen. negotiating. We'll, we'll yeah, yeah. It's a tough one that they have, though, isn't it? Winning these sort of competitions and then, you know, being able to maximise on that and actually turn that into a career, turn it into sort of, you know, a long-lasting uh, industry. It's, 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 I mean, it's a gambling game, being in the music industry. It's not, there's no definites. Mm. So if, but if you can get into it, any way you can get into it and if it takes a tv show to do it then do it mm -hmm. but it doesn't necessarily mean if you win something you're going to be a pop star for the rest of your life mm -hmm. don't ever think that it's it, you're just on a tv show it's like i'm on here today it's not going to uh, you hold up hold up my record earlier it might sell 10 copies it might sell 10,000 it doesn't mm -hmm. You know, no, there's no guarantees. And Tom Jones was great at teaching you to ride those bumps, wasn't he? Well, Tom's had a very long career, and he was kind of like, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. No, don't get over it. Just keep going. And he's, <laughs> and you have to be a fighter, and, and you can win it, and you can fight your way to winning the voice. Like, but you, it doesn't guarantee anything. And Tom mm. taught me that a bit. He goes, because he's had, he hasn't just had lows. He, he, Careers don't go like this. Mm. Careers go like that, up and down. They're a graph of big highs, big lows. And the lows teach you more about yourself than the highs will ever do. Because when you're on a high, you're kind of just enjoying it and yeah. you're drinking champagne and, and holding Brit Awards in the air. But the lows really make you write better songs and be a better person. These are wise words. They are wise words. Not, Ouch, Ricky. It's very um, early have to in the leave, <laughs> Sounds like we've got a lot there. more of these to come anyway, so you keep going with the oh, good no, music. Oh, no, they take so much out of me making those things. <laughs>